guys, this is from the TSNL Forerunner Conference Day 3. This was the last day of the Forerunner Conference. And as I've mentioned before, and I'm going to mention again, that the spirit of lust resides heavily on this ministry uh, with Daniel Adams, with those who join up with the ministry, with those who follow the ministry, the spirit of lust rests heavy. And I'm going to show you here uh, just one example. You're going to have to pay really close attention. And I'm going to play it in regular speed. And then I'm going to play it also in slow speed so you can see what I'm showing you here. But Daniel, w w the background of what's going on right now is this was the last day. Daniel got all charged up. And then when he gets charged up on the last day, that's when he goes through the crowd and just starts popping everybody in the head and touching their stomach and making them fall out. Um, some, I believe, is the power of suggestion. Uh, some, I also believe, is he, he could actually be using demonic witchcraft as well. I definitely know for sure this is not the power of God uh, because of the spirit of lust that rests heavily in this ministry. So... At the 6 hour, 36 minute, 36 second mark, there's a girl who appears on the screen who has this just look of like, she has like this look on her face like where she's just in complete awe, like she's seen God or, or, or something, you know what I mean? And um, I want to want you to pay a close attention if you can. So she just appeared, and it's this girl right here. If you can see, you can't really see like her face that well. It looked kind of creepy because it's zoomed in. But it's this girl right here that I'm zooming in on, right here in the middle of the screen. So I'm gonna zoom out, and you can watch watch what happens. I'm going to play this through to the part that I want you to see. But you see how she was looking. She's looking. She's like looking like, oh, I, I got to see Daniel. I got I got to have Daniel, you know, touch me. Watch. Right here. Right here. She's she appears again. She's standing behind the guy with the glasses on and the nose. She's standing by and you see she's looking up like she's trying to like get his attention. And Daniel knows and he's going to make eye contact with her eventually and then watch what happens. Rewinded it and now I'm going to play it in slow speed so you can really see it for what it is. Actually, you know what? We'll save him. We'll save him for the whole video. This guy right here.
Now we're going to slow it down again. Now watch the look on this lady's face. Not the one he's touching right now, but the one after her. Watch. Her. Watch how he strokes her hair. See, these people are working themselves up into an emotional frenzy. She's, look how she's looking at him. Look how she's looking at him. I mean, I'm not even making this up. I'm not making this up at all. Look how she's looking at him. And then watch him stroke her hair. Watch. Watch. Would he need to stroke her hair like that? The spirit of lust rests heavily in this ministry. And I'll cover this. I'll cover this in a in the full video or a separate video. But this guy right here who just popped on the screen who has the black hoodie on that starts with the letter S, and that's his safety team. guy right here this guy right here so this guy his name is austin Papska, or however you pronounce his last name he is a part of daniel adams ministry and i caught this guy in a youtube or youtube i'm sorry in a facebook group with like almost a hundred thousand followers i got kicked out of the group uh, because of a lot of the stuff i was posting was very controversial and i caught this guy in the group he would go around to all these different females, only females. And in particular, it was usually females who had, you know, um, like where their face was like the main, you know, that was their profile picture. So they would always have, you know, a picture of their face smiling, maybe with lipstick or whatever. And he would go around to these different females and only ask them if they needed prayer. And... And like I said, I can cover this more 
it sucks that I got kicked out of that. I got completely blocked out of that group because I don't even know if I can get all. I probably can't even see that post anymore because I got kicked out. But I had all these different females come in there. Even men admitted. But all these different females who were saying, yeah, he came. Because I made a post about this. Because, you know, I, I, I asked him if I could talk to him privately about some matters. And he said no. Because he didn't like me exposing Isaiah Saldivar and Daniel Adams. So he said no, I couldn't talk to him privately. I said, okay, well... If you don't want to do this privately, let's do this publicly then. And I asked him, I said, hey, why are you going around asking all these different females if you can pray for them? And he didn't respond. And instead, he just blocked me. And then he made his uh, he made his uh, his uh, Facebook. Um, he blocked me first. And then I made the post about it after he blocked me. I made an actual post in this group and then he made his uh he made his page private or like deactivated it momentarily so nobody could see him or find him. This is how slick this little devil is, this guy right here. And um mind you, he's married. He's married, they got a child, they've only been married for like not even a year, him and his wife. Not even a year. It says they got married like in April of 2022. So they haven't even been married for a year yet. And he's already going around asking all these females if he can pray for them. Only females though, not men. So anyways. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, a bunch of females came forward and said, yeah, he reached out to me and asked me. And they're like, I thought it was weird. You know, I caught predator vibes from him and, and, and like at least 10 different females said, yeah, I ended up just blocking him because it felt weird. And then there was even some guys who came on and said, yeah, I seen him doing that. I thought it was really strange. thought it was like predator type stuff. So this is what I'm getting at, though, with this ministry, man. This ministry, the spirit of lust rests heavily in this ministry. And you have to remember that once again, Daniel's ministry is built on the foundation of adultery once again for all you people out there you can say whatever you want about me you can call me a pharisee you can call me a legalist you can say i have a religious spirit why because i'm calling out adultery because i'm calling out lust do you people not realize that john the baptist got beheaded because he called out herod's divorce and remarriage Or I should say, I should say, because I don't actually know if Herod was married before Herodias. But, so I should actually say Herodias' divorce and remarriage. But, nonetheless, it was Herod's adultery. Because his brother Philip was still alive. So, he married his brother's wife. And... That was considered adultery. And those were lost people. See, see, that's why that's why all that, well, they were lost people. Well, according to the word of God, it didn't, doesn't matter. It's still adultery, whether it was lost people, whether it was saved people. It doesn't matter. It still, it's still adultery. And John the Baptist called it out and he got beheaded. So, with that being said... And that's why people attack this this doctrine and this belief so hard is because they have that same spirit. Many of these people who who are opposed to uh, that understanding in regards to divorce and remarriage, if they could get away with it, they would have people like me beheaded. You best believe that. That is the murderous heart that is in these people who rile up and want to attack you when you call out divorce and remarriage. Anyways, with all that said... Daniel Adams was on his second marriage. Second marriage. While in ministry, he commits adultery, even though technically he was already in adultery. He cheats on the second wife with the third wife that he's with now. And because him and Heather would not repent... The ministry they were in put them out. She will claim that they were church hurt, but they were put out 
because they would not repent of their adultery. So because they got put out of that ministry, they started this ministry while still in adultery, because as long as you're with that person, you're still in adultery. Don't say, well, they repented. If they repented, they would not be together anymore. They would separate and he would go back to his first wife or remain single as the word of God says to do. So don't tell me they repented. A thief, they can't keep stealing after they've repented and still not be considered a thief. Just like a sodomite can't keep committing sodomy even though they supposedly repented and then still not be referred to as a sodomite just as an adulterer they can't keep committing adultery or they can't keep sleeping with the person and being married to the person that they were that they committed adultery with and still not be considered an adulterer according to jesus according to jesus so if i'm going according to what jesus says how does that make me a Pharisee when the Pharisees don't go by what Jesus says? The Pharisees were actually the ones who made excuses to get divorced and then get remarried. Think about that. So with that said, because that is the foundation of this ministry, they never repented. They're still together. The spirit of lust and adultery is heavy on this ministry and that's why this guy right here can easily go into all these different to all these different females and ask these different females if he can pray for them not for other men not for men but just for the females that he probably finds attractive but hey if that's what the leadership does in this ministry and seeing that's the other thing too going back to the girl who was in who was awestruck to see to see daniel guarantee she's not the only one guarantee you that but she was awestruck to see daniel because she probably more than likely is dealing with lust and her like many other women in this ministry lust after daniel because the spirit of lust is heavy in this ministry. So this is a longer part than, than what I normally include when I do these trailers. But this is such a heavy and deep topic. And I really want you guys to see the truth of these matters. I want you to see the truth and really grasp the understanding of what is being uh, presented to you. I don't do these videos because I hate Daniel or because I hate your minist his ministry or hate his followers. I do it because I love you. Jesus says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. It's loving to bring a rebuke. It's loving to bring correction. It's loving to bring chastisement. It's loving to speak the truth. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? The word of God says that love or charity, King James Bible, it says it does it says it rejoices in the truth and not in iniquity. Adultery is iniquity, it is sin. Lust is adultery, it is it, well, I'm sorry, lust is is uh iniquity, it is sin. And and you know a lust and adultery do go hand to hand. So there you go. So anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, just watch it one more time, I suppose. And, and you can see it for yourself. I'm not making this up. Holy Lord God Almighty, you are Oh my.
change in you. You guys see it. I'm not making this up. Let me know what you think. Am I am I reaching? Am I reaching at all? Or is the proof in the pudding? And I'm sure we can go through and show many more examples. But when I saw that one, that was so blatantly obvious to me and to others that I showed this to. So anyways, God bless you guys. Um, I love you. And... Um, the next video I do uh, in regards to the Devils of Deliverance, I'm going to actually release the actual day uh, that this documentary, um, at least part one, because this documentary is probably going to be a lot longer than I anticipated. So part one of the documentary, will, I'll, I will, on the next video, I will release the date that I plan on releasing part one of the documentary of the Devils of Deliverance. All right, God bless you guys.